<sighs> Hi friends, I'm so glad to have you here with me today. Um, I've got my tea. I have valerian, lavender and orange blossom and for good reason. It has been a stressful, anxiety provoking week and I wanted to share with you what I've been doing to help keep me balanced and my little tools that I'll reach for when stress and anxiety come a knocking. So first of all, the past couple of weeks actually have been pretty emotionally charged. My son had a heartbreak. He had a breakup with his long-term girlfriend. And although he's an adult man, as a mum, it's almost impossible not to feel or take on that heartbreak and that heartache and wanting to go straight into fix it mode. Um, of course, we've all been through heartache, I would imagine most of us, especially as you get to my age, which is 55. And we all know that you do survive generally. Um, but um, yeah, that has been really challenging to see him so broken and so unhappy. But I've been praying and I've been encouraging and sitting with him and really helping him through that. But in doing so, of course, it does make you feel low. It does end up affecting your vibration, if you like. So I've been reaching for a few things that I've used as tools for many, many years and I thought this might help you as well. Now, I generally am quite a positive, happy person. I, you know, I, I really, truly believe that our thoughts create the world around us. By that I mean, if we walk around every day, day in, day out, listening to negative news, speaking to negative people, we do take on that energy and then the world looks quite a dark, bleak place. But if we do have gratitude in our life and if we do work hard, to try and not get distracted from the news or negative Nellies and social media that can really impact our emotional body, then we can have a better outlook if we, if we do switch off and detach from that negativity. I find that it's almost like it builds momentum. It really does. It's like a snowball effect of positivity. Now, I'm not saying that life is all, you know, rainbows and fairies, because it isn't. Life can be really hard. But I think it's really important also to protect ourselves from all the negative noise. And especially at the moment, the world is pretty chaotic. Politics, both in the US, in the UK, through Europe, you know, wars and all of that, we can get really overwhelmed and also we can feel pretty helpless to change things. So my little tools are all about taking care of myself and protecting what I can protect and control. And oftentimes we can't control the greater world outside of us, but we can control what comes in. So that's turning off the news, not watching what's going on with politics or, you know, different conflicts around the world and feeding myself nice things. And by that, I mean nutritious foods, but also things that I'm reading or things that I am allowing into my energy. One of my little tricks is this. It's a cup of really nice tea. Now, valerian, of course, is often used to calm and often in a sleep tea. This one is classed as a sleep tea, but I don't find it makes me sleepy, but it is very calming. And the lavender and the orange blossom, it's just delicious as well. So I love this one. And it's Twinings and they do another tea which has got cinnamon in it and apple. And that's delicious. That really does smell gorgeous, like apple pie. Now, the other thing that I like to reach for are essential oils. Now, these I picked up in Nice in the south of France in Côte d'Azur, no less. So this is Pettigrain. I have cinnamon and I also have orange. So this is the translation of these oils, the Latin names I'm not really sure about, but Pettigrain, for example, just a tiny, it's a tiny smell, just a whiff of Pettigrain is uplifting. But if you combine these three oils together and you just inhale, you could put them in a diffuser. They are really beautiful uplifting fragrance. The elements, those essential oil little molecules get into your senses and really make you feel uplifted. So they are fabulous. I will link the ones that I recommend that you can get perhaps on Amazon because obviously Cote d'Azur, south of France is a little bit far to go. And the other thing 
one of many, but the other thing I wanted to show you is this. This is called the Five Minute Journal. It has a tea stain on it, I'm really sorry, <laughs> because I use it. And this is something that I do at the end of my day. And in here, let me get a blank page for you so I can show you. It has pre-filled little parts of the page. It's just one page to a day. And it says at the top here, things that I'm grateful for. Then we've got um, what I did that I love today. Let me put my reading glasses on and I can read it for you. What made me happy today? What would make made today great? Daily affirmations, amazing things that happened and just a little space for you to write your thoughts and feelings. Simple journaling, because if I was to sit down and do a journal, I probably wouldn't know where to start. And I know that journaling is very popular, but sometimes you need little prompters, something that will just guide your hand. So to write down something that you feel grateful for, maybe just three things, might feel like a challenge. If I said to you today, what are you grateful for? And you really felt down and overwhelmed and heartbroken, perhaps you'd had some bad news or you were watching the news and it just felt all too much, you might not be able to reach for something straight away. If I said to you, go ahead and journal your day and focus on the good things. But if I said, name three things that you're grateful for today, I'm sure you could find something. So I really like this as a quick tool just to round off your day, especially if you feel that it's been really super hard and stressful and you felt low and your energy and your vibration feels knocked off and you're just, you're just feeling rubbish. It's a nice way to go to bed and just get your five minute journal out and just list things that went well and the things that you'd like to improve and the things that you're hoping for for tomorrow. You could even put your prayer in there and it's just a, it's a good way. It's a good way to reach for a better feeling thought. And I think that that's what is the key actually is that when we're in that cycle of stress and anxiety, we forget that we can reach for a better feeling thought because thoughts are magnetic. And I know this from many years ago, many, many years ago, I used to teach about positive thinking and helping women in business, to be honest with you. And the biggest thing that we forget is that our thoughts are magnetic. So when you start to think about something, for example, that you're excited about and that you're happy about, you'll find that there'll be other thoughts that flood in to support that as a valid thought and as a valid feeling. And it is, it's, a, it's practice. It's a, it is something that you have to practice. Similar to practicing yoga, you know, it's not a perfection. We're not aiming for perfection. We're aiming just to feel a little bit better, just a couple of thoughts better. On to something else. So I want to share with you my empties. Now, my big empty this week is this. This is the Purador Biotin Conditioning Shampoo. Moisturizing, conditioning, all natural ingredients. I'll read you some of them. It's just incredible. They actually, it, oh, where are they? So it, it is completely natural. No parabens, no artificial colorants, no mineral oils, no petroleum. It's absolutely packed with really good stuff. So it actually helps support healthier, thicker, longer hair. It naturally detangles, it's got apple extract, it is bioactive and it encourages hair growth. Now I have the shampoo and the conditioner for this. So this is empty. Shampoo, I've got a little bit more to use. Does anybody else use more conditioner than shampoo? I don't know why, I may be using too much. I know you don't need to use a lot. With this, you definitely don't need to use a lot, but it makes my hair feel incredible, incredible. So that is an empty this week. This is another empty. This is House of Joseon. It is a Korean skincare and it's their ginseng and retinol. Now, I've got a tiny bit left, I think. No, no, oh, there you go, a little bit left. So you can see it is like the yellowy color that you expect retinol to look um, like. But this one is classed as an under eye cream. I've been using it all over my face and my neck. Girls, it is superb. It is so, so nice. What I'm really noticing, if I can get closer, I'm sorry, I know it's a little bit close, but you can't see my pores. And I don't know why, through the, the winter time, my, my pores do become quite apparent, my skin changes, I'm not oily. But that will be the retinol and the ginseng, because the ginseng is a little bit like a caffeine response, so that tightens everything. 
So loving that, going to reorder that. So those are my two empties, reordering both hair and skin. And finally, I absolutely love this. Now, I will show you the dupe for this. You've seen this before. This is the classic Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair. I did a video months ago now about the dupe, which is this one. This is the Revolution Pro Miracle, what do they call it, Night Serum. A bit naughty, look, how naughty is that? But I did a comparison, and I won't lie to you, the ingredients are the same, the same. The difference, I think, is the there is probably more of the most expensive parts in here, um, but this one is equally as good. So I'm out of this, I'm moving on to this. I won't be replacing that anytime soon because this one is around about 12 to 15 pounds or dollars. Well, you know how much this is, it's about 60. So I just thought I would share that with you. And a quick find, a discovery. So Kerastis, Kerastis, that hair company, I wanted something for the ends of my hair because it is a little bit frazzled and I found this. This is the Elvive, L'Oreal Elvive Bond Repair Leave-In Serum. It's fabulous, it is fabulous. It is just, oh I don't know, it's like uh, honey for your hair. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I'd share that with you. Not very cheap, but definitely more affordable than the Kerastase uh, brand. And I think that they have obviously taken influence from the Kerastase, which is, ooh, they're really expensive, but I know that they're very good, so they're probably worth it. Worth it. <laughs> which company is that? We're worth it. So that's my little catch up with my empties, how I'm dealing with anxiety. And to round it off, I just wanted to show you what I have been sent, that I have been using. It is this. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I am doing a proper honest review on it. It is called the Zip Halo. It is microcurrent and nanocurrent. Now, my days as a mediesthetician knows a thing or two about microcurrent and nanocurrent. Microcurrent, tiny little amps of energy that causes the muscles to twitch and if ever you've had a TENS machine or if you've had microcurrent facials you'll know exactly what that is. Nanocurrent is a billion times smaller in terms of its energy output. In fact nanocurrent is similar to the output that the brain has when it charges to do something like you know move your arms or you know nerve reactions. So microcurrent builds muscle or moves muscle causing a twitch. Nanocurrent causes energy in the cells. So I'm super excited to really dive into that and share that with you in a week or two. So girls, first of all, even chatting with you has made me feel better. Um, it's true, isn't it, what they say, you know, problem shared is a problem halved. And it's not that I feel that I've had too much on my plate. I think I didn't take care of myself. It's absolutely true what they say. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So remember that, girls. That's my message. I love you loads. I've really enjoyed our chat, and I'll see you next week.